In the animation group in Web Studio, we have some settings in these three dots. For most animations, we never have to touch these because the defaults work great. But if we open it, we'll see there's one specific setting I want to talk about here, subject self. That's the default. Why would we want to change this to something else? Well, let's first touch on what's happening here with animations. So with the animation group, it's going to animate all of its children, and it's going to start and end based on what we have defined in the animation in the range start and range end. When we say self, it means when each of the children, so right here, this graph is going to be considered the subject. When this part enters the viewport, exits the viewport at the specified range start and range end, we're going to start and stop the animations. But sometimes self is not what we want. And here you can see this. I have these two animation groups for each graph, custom and native. And the custom one is beating native because custom is starting first. So custom animation is going to start because it's higher up on the page. And then native is going to start. And this just looks bad because custom looks like it's beating our native Web Studio solution. And that's not the message I want to convey. So in these cases, self is not what I want to consider the animation subject. I want some common parent that is going to trigger the animations. So let's go to an animation group and change the setting here. And instead of subject self, let's open this up and see what we see. These are all of the parents in the navigator. And we can see as I hover over them on the right side, they are hovering or highlighting in the navigator. So right now we have self. I can select this clip parent, but that's not a common parent of both of my graph bars here. Neither is this, but this is. So I can select graphic. I could select the card as well. Uh, the only difference is that the graphic is going to start slightly later than the card because the uh, there's some padding, but whatever. Let's select graphic. And I want to do the same thing for my animation group of the second one. We'll go up to the advanced settings and change self to graphic. Now let's preview this and we will see that they are both going to start and stop at the same time. And I have a different easing function on the custom one to emulate a choppy scroll. Uh, and so what I can do just to show you the demo here is get rid of this easing and do linear. And now they are both going to start and stop at the same time because the subject is this box. So it's going to start when this box is in the range start and end when it's in the range end. So that's in a very important distinction about when to use self. Most of the time it's good. Mostly you want to consider when is that item that you're animating, entering or exiting the viewport. But in some cases, when you have multiple animations working together, or sometimes just a solo animation, you don't want to consider the element itself as the thing to judge when it's entering and exiting the viewport. You want to consider some parent, whether it be a direct parent like the card or something higher up like the entire section. That is when you want to adjust the advanced setting subject.